okay? Let's go into your reading here. The first two cards we have out is the Temperance card and the Judgment. The Judgment card, let's talk about this one first because um, I put the ones that came out first mainly because they dictate the overall theme of that cluster. So the Judgment card indicates a lot of contact, a lot of communication, a lot of family reunions and things like that coming through via social circle, family unit, as well as new beginnings in all aspects of your life as well, okay? So the Judgment is a uh, card that indicates a new phase in your life is beginning. And I feel like you come into this new phase in your life in a very wobbly manner. Like you're kind of like uncertain. You're taking temperature and you're just like treading very, very slowly. And you're not really sure if you're on the right track. Um, I feel for a lot of you, a relationship might have recently solidified. And you're trying to work your way around each other. And then others of you, major, major um, like decisions have been made very, very recently when it comes to romantic partners. So that can be, you know, moving in together. That can be, um, I feel like more on the emotional front. It's something that is emotionally destabilizing for you because it's new, it's different, and it's something that you're not used to. Um, I also feel there are some family things coming through where one parent might be feeling under the weather, you're far away, you're hearing about this and you're contemplating, um, you know, taking a trip to come see them. And likewise, I feel like something about family, especially for those of you with children, um, medical, you know, procedures, um, diagnoses, and uh, even coming in for tests, coming in for flu shots, coming in for, for maintenance when it comes to the health of a child or health of parents. So all of these things are coming through in very, very subtle ways, and they all hit you like different times of the month. And I feel like, you know, all of a sudden you get a call and it, it does worry you because you are a very family oriented sign. And I do sense, you know, like you identify very, very strongly with the, your family unit. Even if you're single right now and you don't have a family, I feel like that childhood family that you grew up in, whatever affects them, you feel like it affects you. So I do see a lot of that coming through and then, you know, people playing phone tag and then you have to get back to them um, when you can. And then when you can, you stay on the phone for way too long because they have a lot of other things that they want to tell you. So I feel like it's just a lot of time that is um, that is being devoted to family members, to especially if they're going through some type of medical diagnoses and things like that. OK. Um, the Temperance card comes in as a reminder for moderation. This is a card greatly about like um, not over drinking, not over extending ourselves, knowing when to pull back our energy and knowing when to extend outwards. So I feel like you need to find some type of a middle ground as to how you spend your time, as to how you manage things in your life, and as to how you don't let troublesome things, troublesome relationships, troublesome information coming from your external environment. Like, don't let it destabilize. You find a way to process it, deal with it. And I don't want to, you know, count, sound condescending by saying that, but I feel that you have your own responsibilities that you need to take care of, and you're not there to, you know, soothe other people's problems. They're supposed to be self-sufficient in that manner. So you're not there to be, you know, everybody's uh, fix-it lady or uh, man. Um, you need to draw back your energy pretty much, okay? So don't extend outward. Draw back in and don't let yourself get swept away by the emotional ties of everything that's happening around you. And that is easier said than done, but I feel it is going to be required this month. So... If you have a little bit of alone time, you know, find things to do with your hands so that you're uh, letting that um, that overactive energy dissipate. So rather than sitting there thinking about it and ruminating over things or, you know, keep talking about things or keep thinking about things, find something to do to uh, keep your mind occupied, keep your hands busy so that you're not thinking about it and you're immersed in the moment, okay? The next two cards that are coming through is the Five of Swords and the Seven of Pentacles. Now, the Seven of Pentacles is a, um, it's a, a situation where you have devoted a lot of your time, uh, love, nurturing, attention into a situation. So this is like, a, you know, going through that period where you've done all the preliminary work in order to reap the benefits of your, la the, the fruits of your labor. And, um, what I feel is there is something, some type of a disappointing news coming through. So I feel very strongly for some of you, if you are like um, applying for school, 
And I know it's weird, it's November, but you're applying for school. You might have taken some exams in order to apply for school. And then you might realize that, you know, um, the school of your choice, they require higher scores, you know. So then there's something about readjustment here that needs to happen. The Seven of Pentacles is a very, very good card. It's like waiting on, the de on a decision from somebody else. However, it's linked up with the Five of Swords, which is an empty victory card. It's like victory at somebody else's expense. And then as a result of it, I feel like, yes, you might get what you're asking for, but, you know, at whose expense? So I feel like it's a double-edged sword when it comes to, like, you know, something you devoted a lot of your time in, and now it's coming through, it's bearing fruit. But you might not realize, you might now realize that this is not something that your your heart was entirely set on from the get-go. And a lot of you, you know, some of the times... um it, it it reminds me of this uh, where you might want something, right? And then once it's like in front of you, you realize that you might want something else. And that can extend towards, you know, school applications that can ex extend towards like job, uh, um, like job offers that can also extend across relationship sectors as well. Um, somebody might be attached and you feel like you really want this person. You might reach out to the person. And then, you know, they, they leave their family, their spouse and things like that for you. And then you realize, you know what? I, I might have just wanted that competition. I might not have wanted that thing. So these are, you know, things that could potentially play out. And either way, what it does is that it allows you to see and allow you to know and allow you to get some confirmation as to what it is that you really want to begin with. And which ones of those things that you, which ones of your desires are actually based on, you know, vanity, based on unrealistic expectations, or based on just, you know, the whole point about winning, wanting something just because you can't have it, or wanting something just to prove to yourself that you can attain it, but then once it's within reach, you might not realize, you might now realize that you, you don't want that to begin with, okay? So there's something of, of an element here about, you know, knowing what you want in that 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 truth that revelation might come about as a double-edged sword um for others of you and i'm getting this message very very strongly i feel honestly that you might be in a love triangle and i'm going to do your love reading in a little bit so i hope you know that will allow you to get some insights into your specific situation and I feel if you are in a love triangle, you might already know that you're in a love triangle. This is not going to be like revelation, things coming in as a surprise, okay? So I feel like you might be attached to somebody and you might be another in starting a new relationship. Or you might be um, coveting somebody who is in a relationship. And I feel like, you know, they, they might tell you, oh, I'm going to leave so-and-so and I'm going to leave them. And it's going to happen, you know two months from now two months from now and like whatever they tell you you've been waiting waiting and waiting and then you realize you know what they're stringing me along so I need to like cut them out of my life so I feel this sense of realization this sense of closure this sense of finality is actually coming through for a lot of you and I hope you're not dealing with that on the romantic front if it works out in a work environment I feel like you know they're telling you oh you're gonna get a, a, a raise a pay increase a promotion and you wait and wait and wait and in the meantime you're waiting you're working very very hard you're like working your butts butts off and as a result of it you just realize you know they're stringing me along so I feel like either way this month is going to bring a massive amount of closure and this is actually an energy I've been feeling for a lot of signs not just for you guys but I feel like for you guys it's a little bit more clear so that you can move once and for all past it and that you can focus your energy on people, on projects that are worth your time. So that's coming through here. Um, the next cluster here, we have the Queen of Cups as well as the Eight of Pentacles. So you have a water sign. This is a Pisces, a Cancer, or a Scorpio. This is somebody with a lot of good advice, good counsel, and somebody that, you know, you can turn to, um, whenever you need, you, you need some guidance. So I feel like this can serve as a relationship partner. But, um, or even a friend or, you know, a family member. But what I'm feeling overall is that this is somebody who's very, very emotionally supportive of you. So who, whoever they are in your life, they are, you know, sun, moon, or rising, uh, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. 
They are somebody who is um, very kind, emotionally supportive. They believe in you and they always, you know, like um, praise you, say good things about you. And they give you that emotional support and they might, you know, um, so for example, they, they, they might tell you, you know, reach for the stars and you will always, always achieve your dreams. And I feel like even through the times that you doubted yourself through, through like many disappointments, they have always been there for you. And I feel like this is the month in which this person is going to be front and center in your focal point and they are going to give you if you you were trying to reach for the stars and you feel like you have failed or you feel like you need to do some readjustments when it comes to your goals and expectations i feel like they're still there giving you that emotional support and they're showing you how to do something in order to move things along um, a lot of you might be sending out resumes and i feel like resumes for scholarships resumes for schools resumes for work if you are sending out resumes for work, I do feel this person, well, whatever you're sending out for, I do feel this person is giving you some valuable insights as to, you know, uh, what you should include. And I feel that it would be in your best interest to try to follow their advice. They're going to give you very, very good, solid advice. If you are looking for work, if you're thinking about, you know, applying for schools and, you know, changing your career direction. So before, if you were doing medicine, now you might be thinking about law. That's also what I'm feeling. And you might be doing like a drastic 180 where you're just like, I'm not really sure if this is the right career track for me. So I want to explore this other option. And I feel like you have somebody here that's going to be able to give you some guidance. Okay. Okay. Uh, one of the things that, um, that they might say to you here is, you know, um, don't be so, um, they, they might say something like, so that you know who this person is. Uh, they might tell you, don't abandon projects too early. They might tell you, you know, uh, keep working at it, work at it, work at it until you've exhausted all possibilities before you change, um, your direction. So there's somebody who really values, uh, hard work and dedication and, you know, that stick to itiveness. And they might tell you, you know, keep working, keep at it. You're going to be good. You're going to be safe. You're going to be okay. And you deserve it. So I feel like they keep pushing you to work towards a specific goal and to never give up. So that's the type of emotional support you're getting from this person, okay? And they're going to help you along the way as well. Um, job applications, I do see that. I see scholarship, grants, um, applications. And I feel like it's highly competitive as well, okay? So you have to somehow make yourself stand out because I feel like you're competing against many, many, many people. And there are a lot of, for example, you know, if, if it's like a... If it's like an internship that will allow you to work with a very, very prestigious organization. And I feel that there are a lot of people vying for, it's like one position and, you know, thousands of people are vying for it. So I feel like you're, you're going, you're applying for some important jobs or internships or scholarships. And I feel like the, the competition is fierce. So you need to be very cutthroat about it. So that means, you know, uh, don't be too humble. Um, try to, I guess, like emphasize your skills, your assets, and, you know, um, don't downplay your potential, you know, try to, um, what is that? Un try to emphasize your contributions, try to, you know, hype yourself up because I feel like the pool that you're competing against, they're very fierce. Okay. And you might be competing against like mid mid-career level professionals and it's a different ballpark is what I'm sensing so you need to work at it and you need to like emphasize all the things that you have to offer your past contributions the work that you've done in the past so that you can win this thing okay so I feel like whatever work you put in is what you're going to get out this month so that means studying spending enough time studying rather than staying up late um worrying about other stuff that's not marginally related to what you're supposed to be studying about taking care of your responsibilities doing work in a very diligent manner as well as you know putting yourself out there and being like um being like the prime candidate that they're looking for so things are going to be um very very good for you now what is coming through in terms of your advice here we do have the two of swords and the Two of Swords is basically um, a decision, okay? 
This is a card about indecisiveness. This is a card also about denial, blocking out the truth, and all of those things. Now, I don't read these cards in uh, upright or reverse position. I just read them in relation to one another, how they fall within a cluster, and uh, the card that is associated with them. The Two of Swords is a situation where you are going to have to make a major decision as it pertains to your career track. And I do feel for a lot of you, um, I feel this element about, you know, other people are coming into you and they're bringing their stories and they're just like, hey, I did this. And, you know, within, you know, like um, within three months, I made this much money. So they're bringing you kind of like, a, I feel like, you know, stories of success, but they seem almost like a pipe dream. So they're selling you a dream. And I feel like a lot of you might be taken in by these things, by these stories, like get rich quick uh, schemes come to mind. Uh, shortcuts, financial, you know, doing some financial investment or even uh, some long-term planning and opening up businesses is what I'm feeling. But but you feel like it's a gamble. And a lot of you are just kind of like have been going through your life doing the right thing, you know, like getting that job, working nine to five, working your butts off and, you know, trying to do things in a correct manner. It might be slow, but it has worked for you. And then all of a sudden you might have people coming through with these get rich quick schemes and they're, they're like blowing your mind and you want to believe them. But I, I feel like there's a lot more to the story that you're not being um, given information on. Okay. And I feel like it might have worked specifically for them. Maybe the timing was just right for them. Um, whatever the circumstances is, is is that I feel like you're not being fed the entire story. So you want to be careful. You want to do the preliminary research on your own. And I feel like at this point, a lot of you are financially, you're in a good space, but you're, you're trying to decide on a career path that you're going to go into. I see a lot of people in the medical profession potentially shifting into the administrative uh, role. So you might be a nurse and now you're, you know, you're, you're, you might want to be a head nurse where you are in charge of scheduling. You might be uh, doing, you know, public health on the ground, and then you might shift more into the administrative aspect of that. You might be changing career path, you know, med school, law school, for example, or uh, starting med school, starting law school, like what profession it is that you're trying to get into. I feel like all of these things are being brought up for reexamination, and a lot of you you're starting new major chapters in your life when it comes to higher education, when it comes to career advancement. And so all of these things, all of these doubts, all of these questions are coming through and it's completely normal. But I feel like, you know, you're showing up here as the queen of pentacles and this is your energy. So it's basically saying that um, you have been doing things very diligently. So you're on the right track. Okay, so don't doubt yourself. Don't let other people's success story steer you off course. Okay, so keep whatever you're doing because you're on the right track. We also have as well the Wheel of Fortune. And the Wheel of Fortune indicates to me that, you know, situations being turned around and things are turning in your favor depending on, you know, how much work you put in, how diligent you were at um, following and pursuing your own track that is specifically created for you. How you are at handling responsibilities and how diligent you are at being able to triage, being able to like um, manage your time and not let yourself get emotionally riled up by your environment. So, you know, um, maintaining that calm, the, the sense of decorum under pressure. Okay, so I feel that coming through. Um, one last thing I'm feeling is that I do sense here that, you know, there is something here and I, I can't really put my finger on it just yet. It's, it's actually talking a lot about, you know, winning at somebody else's expense. Okay. And I feel like you want to really reassess this situation if you are kind of like a third party and, um, that's never a good thing overall. But you also have to think about actions and consequences because with the we, it, when we are ending on the Wheel of Fortune, with the Justice card, it's divine intervention, divine karma. It's like the divine, you know, balancing of that karmic scale. So if you are, you are knowingly wedging yourself in between a couple, it's not going to end end well. Okay, I, I don't feel it's going to end well. There will be confrontation and there will be. Um, decisions that need to, that, that might not even, you know, be up to you to decide. And then likewise, if you are romantically linked up with somebody 
and somebody is trying to get in between you, there will be divine retribution as well. So I feel like depending on which side of the coin you're on, I don't feel you need to worry much if you're doing things by the book and if you're righteous, but I definitely feel something about karmic endings, like karmic ties being broken up. 